Hi, we're just going to spend a couple of minutes to talk about the different types of scheduling in Microsoft Project. As you can see here, we're using 2010. In 2010, there are two ways to schedule your project, and these are manual and auto schedule. By default, project has manual schedule on, but we'll show you how to change that later on. I'll just go through what each does. Manual schedule, good for task lists, um, good at the start of the project when you don't have a lot of integral information such as constraints, predecessors, but want to put an overview of key dates. Essentially what will happen when you use manual schedule is that Microsoft Project will create your schedule based upon the actual dates you enter rather than the predecessors and their constraints. Um, project will leave your dates alone and I'll show you an example of how that differs to auto schedule. Auto schedule is where you really get the benefits of project scheduling engine. This is where project takes over. It does a lot of back end work where it considers your constraints, your predecessors, and it applies a lot of logic to the relationships you've put in to control your schedule. Pros and cons obviously, this one you lose a lot of control. The project does a lot of the driving for you. In my contention, this is the only way to really truly get the optimal use out of Microsoft Project and its um, and its engine. Okay, just to show you the differences between the two, I'll revert back to manual schedule. I'm just going to put some some tasks in here. All right. And I'm going to put in some arbitrary days. So these just time estimates. I'll keep them re relatively short. Sorry. Okay. Um, no change here if you use either. I'm going to link these um, just so you can see the predecessors using this link button here. And project will just apply a series relationship. Now this will be the same regardless if you use auto or manual schedule. The differences can be seen when you start running your project. And let's say this task over here, build has been changed to 12 days. In manual scheduling mode you can see that whilst this duration sorry, this duration has increased it hasn't shifted the successor at all. So this task over here and you can see Microsoft Projects giving a bit of an indication that something may not be completely right. It's saying look this predecessor here hasn't shifted sorry this predecessor here has shifted but this task here hasn't moved. And that's, they're the limitations you'll get with manual scheduling. This may be a good thing for you. This could be a key date or an event, which regardless of this, you want it to stay static. Right. Um, so sometimes there are benefits to manual schedule. I'll do the same thing using auto schedule. And I'm just going to undo a few things to step back in time with Control Z. And what I'll do is I'll change these to auto, which a number of ways you can do this. I'm just going to click on this button. And I'm just going to apply that increase in duration and press enter. And this is probably what you're used to seeing. Microsoft Project has automatically shifted the successes um, to accommodate for that increased duration. Alright, so you can make your mind up as to um, which situation you would like to use and consider the way up the pros and cons of each. You can just have specific tasks manual, so it doesn't need to be a one B1 and and all. So if the test has to be done on a certain day, a certain time, you can do that and that won't shift when you actually um, affect other, other tasks. In short, um, there are benefits to each. Project will by default use manual schedule. If you want to change that, flick to file, options, the schedule part of there, and then just revert that to auto schedule. And what that will do is when you run projects and enter tasks, you're going to see they're going to be auto scheduled rather than manual scheduled. Okay, I hope that's been informative and you've got a little bit out of it. Thanks.